I'm Evan Hammonds for Bloodhorse.com and welcome to the Keeneland September Sale Wrap brought to you by TaylorMade Sales Agency. The Keeneland September Sale is in the books and overall it's quite a good read. Last year's sale, dubbed by the Blood Horse Magazine as the dawn of a new cycle in the commercial market, <clears throat> saw the September sale gross soar 27.6% and the average rise 17%. Now, no one expected those type of advances this year, as most of the industry insiders predicted similar numbers, or those just up a smidge. And overall, the gross finished pretty much on par with last year, with fewer horses selling, which made for an average rising a few percentage points. Now, at the upper end of the market, the four-day book one format was repeated with great success. There was heavy demand for yearlings by the two hottest sires, Tappet and Warfront, with one each going for a co-topping $2.2 million. As the sale progressed, the market was definitely there for the right horse. Even on day 12, a colt by Arch 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 brought $110,000, and on the sale's final days, two horses went for more than $100,000. Now, it wasn't all rosy. Selectivity remained the mantra of both seller and sale company. The money is always there for the good horse, the so-so horse is hard to move. We spoke with Tom Thornberry, Associate Director of Sales. Well, Evan, I think uh, in the final analysis, it, uh, it's almost a perfect mirror image of the 2013 September sale. We had a few more horses cataloged, but the numbers fall in place. So we're going to be grossing out about right at $280 million, exactly where we were last year with a $100,000 average and a $50,000 median over the course of the 13 days. As for the sellers, Lane's End Farm was the leading consigner by gross with more than $28.4 million in sales, followed by TaylorMade Sales Agency. Gainsway, the home of leading sire Tappet, sold nearly $18 million worth of yearlings. On the buying end, perennial leader John Ferguson was the leading buyer, spending $7.8 million for 22 yearlings. Agent Ben Glass, <clears throat> who does business for Gary and Mary West, also spent $7.8 million. Coolmore's MV Magnier and Shadwell Estate Company were also busy, as were JJ Krupe's Newcastle Farm, Starlight Racing, DP Racing, Conquest Stables, and trainer Mark Cassie. There aren't any uh, dummies left in this game. These are all sophisticated uh, buyers, and, and they, they race. They, they, there's an there's a importance placed and a premium placed on quality that, that maybe lacked back in the 70s and 80s when we were generating some sort of speculative market. But this is a true market and uh, those who race expect quality and they dismiss those that are, that are not acceptable. Now as we all collect our breath, we have to remember the selling season is by no means over. Up next is the Phasic Tipton Mid-Atlantic sale followed by the Phasic Tipton Kentucky October yearling sale. You can follow all of the sales coverage right here at bloodhorse.com.